Hi everyone, this is Mom Floor together with Mom Quezon. I will be discussing Lesson 5, Perfect Square Trinomial. Okay, let us first read our learning objective, Factor Polynomials by Perfect Square Trinomial. Before we start, let's have a quick review. Halimbawa, si Kim Chu ay bumili sa palengke ng dalawang apple at tatlong orange. Samantalang si Coco Martin naman bumili ng isang apple at anim na orange. Ngayon, kapag sasamahin natin ang, ang lahat ng mga napamili nila, ilang apple at orange, kaya ang napamili nilang lahat. Okay. Ang total ng apple na napamili nila ay tatlo. Ang orange ay siyam. So, ngayon, itong apple at orange na to ay pwede nating i-represent through algebra o pwede nating gamitin ng variable to represent yung apple at the same time, ganun din ang orange. Okay, let us name yung dalawang apples as 2A at i-rename natin yung 3 orange as 3O. While, let us rename yung 1 apple as A. Okay, so hindi ibig sabihin yan ay A, wala yung numerical value, meron. Pero, pwede nating hindi ilagay yung kanyang numerical value. So, ano ba ang numerical value ng A? So, that is 1. Okay, next. Yung 6 orange, pwede nating i-represent as 6 O. Ngayon, pagsamahin natin lahat, ilan ng apple at ilan din yung orange na napamili nila. So, 2A plus A. That would give us 3A. 3O plus 6O, that would give us 9O. So, anong napansin ninyo? Di ba magkapareho? So, ibig sabihin, we can represent yung number of apples and number of orange by using yung mga uh, variable like A and O. Paano ba tayo mag-add ng mga polynomials? The addition of two or more polynomial is just a matter of combining like terms. Ano ba pag sinabi nating like terms? Pag sinabi nating like terms, ibig sabihin magkaparehas sila ng variable at magkaparehas din sila ng exponent. Pwede na natin silang i-add. For example, isang apple at dalawang apple. Pag pinag-add natin, we can write this as three apples. So, Pwede nating gamitan ito ng mga variable. Pag ang variable ay magkakaparehas ng uh, variable or exponent, ibig sabihin pwede natin silang i-add. So, pwede natin i-represent yung 1 apple as x plus 2 apple as 2x. So, 1 plus 2x, that would give us 3x. Or, pwede rin namang 5a plus 3a, that would give us 8a. And, 2x squared plus 3x squared, that would give us 5x squared. So, mapapansin ninyo, pag magkaparehas ng variable at exponent, pwede natin i-add. Ano nga ba ulit pag sinabi natin perfect squares? These are numbers or expression that are product of a number or expression multiplied to itself. For example, you were given 7 times 7, that would give us 7 squared or 49 x times x, that would give us x squared. 6x squared, that times 6, 6x squared, that would give us 36x to the fourth. All you have to do is multiply or multiply yung numerical coefficient na 6 times 6. Imumultiply lang natin siya. So that would give us 36. While yung variable, x squared, multiply natin sa x squared, that would give us x to the fourth. Ang gagawin nyo lang, kakapin nyo yung variable and then add natin yung exponent. Tandaan, pag tayo ay nagmumultiply ng mga variable, ang gagawin nyo, i-add nyo yung exponent. That is 2 plus 2, that would give us 4. Okay, so yung 49x squared at 36x to the fourth, lahat yan ay puro perfect squares. Ano nga ba pag sinabi natin binomial? Pag sinabing binomial, an algebraic expressions containing two terms, dalawa ang terms, 1 at 2. 
Okay, paano naman pag sinabing trinomial? Ibig sabihin, it contains three terms. For example, if you are given x squared, we can rewrite this as x times x. How about if you were given a binomial? Pwede man na natin itong square? Yes, pwede natin square to. Ang tawag dito, binomial square. We can expand this as quantity x plus 5 times quantity x plus 5. Ngayon, let us solve using FOIL method. Una ay x times x, that would give us x squared. 5 times x, that would give us 5x. 5 times x, 5x. And last is 5 times 5, that would give us 25. So, ibig sabihin, dito makikita mo merong terms na merong like terms or makakaparehas ng variable at exponent, which is 5x plus 5x. Dahil makaparehas sila ng variable at exponent, pwede natin silang i-add. So, that would give us x squared plus 10x plus 25. That means, if we square a binomial, our answer would be a trinomial. So, ang tawag dito ay binomial square. Ang tawag naman dito ay perfect square trinomial. The result of squaring a, bi a binomial is a perfect square trinomial. Ano nga ba yung perfect square trinomial? Perfect square trinomial is the result of squaring a binomial. For example, no, balikan natin yung example natin kanina. Tingnan natin kung pwede natin siyang i-factor using common monomial factor. Pag sinabi natin common, common monomial factor, tingnan mo kung merong common factor or GCF sa numerical value at greatest common factor para naman sa variable. So dito, x squared plus 10x plus 25 Makikita mo na yung ating x squared, ang numerical coefficient nito ay 1. So, kung iisa-isahin natin yung mga number which is 1, 10, at 25, may GCF ba tayo sa 1, 10, at 25? Para madali nyo matandaan, GCF, ano ba yung uh, highest number na pwede niyang i-divide sa kanila? Okay? Or yung highest factor na common sa kanilang lahat. So, sa so 1, 10, at 25, wala tayong GCF. Okay? Next, move naman tayo sa variable. Tingnan natin kung yung variable ay common sa lahat. Dito may x variable tayo, which is x squared. Dito, ang variable natin is x. Dito naman sa third term, wala tayong variable. So, walang common na factor para naman sa variable. So, that means, wala tayong common monomial factor. Hindi natin siya may factor using common monomial. Okay, next, paano naman pag-grouping? Pag-grouping, four or more terms, e trinomial lang to. So, hindi pwede. Next, pwede ba yung difference of two squares? Ang tanong, may dalawang perfect square ba to? Yes, meron. Pwede rin to maging difference. Kaso, ang difference of two squares ay binomial lang. E ito, trinomial. So, hindi to po pwede. Next, sum and difference of two cubes. May dalawa bang perfect cubes? Wala. So, hindi rin natin ito pwedeng gamitin. So, next, anong pwede natin gamitin dito? Yung in example ko kanina, ang tawag dito ay perfect square trinomial. So, ibig sabihin, we can factor this perfect square trinomial by a square of binomial. So, kabaliktaran lang. Kung dati, pag in-square natin yung binomial, ang sagot ay perfect square trinomial. Ngayon naman, i-reverse -re natin ang process. Ibig sabihin, pag finactor natin yung perfect square trinomial, ang factored form nito would be square ng binomial. So, pag sinabi natin perfect square trinomial, these are algebraic expression with three terms that are created by multiplying a binomial to itself. So, ibig sabihin, ito three terms na ito yung three terms, no? Ito yung product ng uh, binomial, no? So, binomial na in-square. So, squared ng binomial. In other words, uh, this would be yung PST natin and this would be yung binomial squared. So, yan yung factored form natin, no? 
So, reverse na yung gagawin natin. From perfect square trinomial, ang magiging factored form niya ay naging binomial squared. Why is it called perfect square trinomial? Unang-una sa pangalan pa lang, malalaman mo na, trinomial, tat tatlo yung terms. No? First, meron tayong last term at meron tayong middle term. Ano pa? Meron tayong perfect square. Kaya alam mo na kagad, meron kasamang perfect square. Meron siyang dalawang positive na perfect square. Dito, makikita mo, ito ay may positive, ito rin ay positive. So, kaya tinawag na perfect square trinomial kasi trinomial tapos merong dalawang perfect square. So, how do we recognize if the given polynomial is a perfect square trinomial? Una, trinomial ba to? No? Yes, trinomial to kasi meron itong tatlong terms. Next, perfect square. Ano yung mga perfect square dito? Yung first at last term natin should be always positive. Take note, always positive perfect square. Tapos, yung middle term natin, yung sign ng middle term natin or operation ng middle term natin, pwede siyang addition or subtraction. No? Next, kailangan yung middle term din mag-satisfy do sa formula na 2AB para ma-check mo na PST ang gagamitin mo, ang titingnan mo yung middle term. Una, titingnan mo positive perfect square ba yung first at last. Tapos, titingnan mo kung ang middle term ay 2AB. Ngayon, paano ba natin kinukuha yung middle term? Tandaan, 2AB, ibig sabihin twice, imumultiply mo by 2. So, multiply mo yung, yung 2 times do sa product ng A at B. Ano ba yung A at B? Ito yung square root ng first term at ng last term. Tandaan. Ito yun ha. Pag kinuha mo yung square root ng first term, di ba? A squared, divide, uh, square root ng A squared, di-divide lang natin, 2 divided by 2, that is A raised to 1. Tapos yung square root ng B squared, no? I-divide mo lang yung exponent do sa index, so that is B raised to 1. So, yan yung A at B natin. Sa madaling salita, pag may term akong sinasabing A at B, ito yung square root ng first at ng square, square root ng first term at square root ng second, uh, last term. So, ngayon, i-apply natin. So, ito yung given. Kunin natin yung square root, uh, 2, twice means 2, 2 times ano yung square root ng first term natin at square root ng last term. So, substitute lang natin. Yung first term, Kunin natin, that is square root ng x squared at square root ng 25. So, 2 times, ano yung square root ng x squared? That would give us x. Ano yung square root ng 25? That would give us 5. So, multiply lang natin. 2, 2 times x times 5. That would give us 10x. The same ba kung ano yung middle term? So, kung 10x ito, Ibig sabihin, nag-satisfy yung 10x dun sa formula na 2ab, na 2 times yung square root ng first term na a times the square root ng last term, which is b. So, dito pa lang, lagi mong titingnan kung perfect square, yung first at last, at yung middle term dapat 2ab. Uh, we have two formulas in factoring perfect square trinomial. Okay, so meron tayong x squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Meron din tayong a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So, yung PST natin, pag pinactor natin, nagiging square ng binomial. So, isang may sum, sum, at merong isang difference. Yung unang formula natin ng perfect square trinomial ay ito. So, ibig sabihin, kapag ang given natin na polynomial ay a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, ipa-factor natin to as quantity a plus b squared. But, papansin niyo kung tanda na kung ano ang middle term, yun din ang, uh, kung ano yung sign ng middle term, yun din yung sign ng ating factored form. Same sign lang. For example, if you were given x squared plus 10x plus 25, no? pwede nga rin name natin yung first term. Yung first term natin yung x squared. I-rename natin. So, yung i-rename din natin yung last term. So, 5 squared. So, tingnan natin kung yung middle term ay 2ab. So, 
to ano yung square ano yung a natin no no ano yung a natin that is x ano yung b natin that is 5 multiply mo lang lahat 2 times 5 that is 10 times x 10x. So, ang middle term natin ay 10x. So, nagsatisfy do sa equation natin na 2ab. So, pwede na natin gamitin yung formula natin dito. So, yung formula natin dito, that would give us... So, yung formula natin dito, formula is equal to... Ano yung a natin? Yung a natin dito, that is x. Yung sign natin, tandaan kung ano yung sign ng middle term. Okay, ang sign ng middle term natin ay positive, kaya ito ay positive. Ano ang value ng B natin? Ang B natin is 5. So, ang factored form would be quantity x plus 5 squared. This would be our factored form. Pwede rin expand as quantity x plus 5 times quantity x plus 5. So, this would be our fa factored form. Pag ganito na yung sagot nyo, this can be considered your answer. So, okay na pag ganito yung sagot niya. Next, yung pangalawa naman nating formula, no? Mapapansin niyo yung middle term niya ay negative. So, ang factored form din natin, magiging negative din. Same sign. So, gaya ng mga binigay kong example, ang difference lang nito is that ito, ang middle term nito ay negative. No? So, ganun pa rin. I-check mo, kunin mo yung square root ng first, o i-rename lang natin. And then, i-check mo yung 2AB. And then, ang the only difference is that, yung sagot natin, ano yung value ng A natin dito? Ang value ng A natin dito is X. Ano yung sign? Ito, dito tayo magbabago ng sign. Ang sign natin dito ay positive. Dahil ang middle term mo, no? Middle term mo ay negative. Dapat negative din ang iyong factored form, no? Next, Ano yung value ng B natin? 5. So, our final answer would be quantity x minus 5 squared. We can expand this as x, uh, quantity x minus 5 times quantity x minus 5. So, this would be our factored form. This would be yung sagot natin. So, mapapansin nyo, ang difference lang nila ay yung sign sa middle term. Tingnan ang sign ng middle term, yun yung magiging sign ng factored form mo. So, meron tayong dalawang formula na ginagamit sa perfect square trinomial. Isa na merong positive na middle term, no? Positive yung middle term. Positive ang middle term. Positive din ang factored form. Meron din tayong negative ang middle term. So, negative din yung factored form ng square ng binomial natin. So, mapapansin niyo na the same lang yung format nila. The only difference is their middle term, yung sign ng middle term. So, tandaan, kung ano ang sign ng middle term mo, yun din yung sign ng binomial square mo. Again, pag sinabing binomial square, binomial siya na naka-square. Here are the steps in factoring perfect square trinomial. Factor out the common monomial factor if possible. Verify mo kung perfect square trinomial, kung trinomial ba. First at last terms ay positive perfect squares. At yung middle term, it should be 2AB. No? Pag sinabing 2AB, kunin mo yung square root ng first term, kunin mo yung square root ng last term. No? Pag nakuha mo yun, multiply by 2. So, that would get yung middle term. Ngayon, once na identify mo yung A at B, no, choose ka ng formula kung ano bang formula ang pwede natin gamitin. Kung ito ba na ang middle term ay positive, ito ba kung ang middle term ay negative. Example 1, x squared plus 6x plus 9. First thing na lagi nyo gagawin before any factoring technique ang gagamitin ninyo, tingnan nyo kung merong common monomial factor. Meron ba tayong common monomial factor dito? Tingnan nyo, meron ba tayong greatest common para sa numerical value? Okay, dito sa x squared, ang numerical value nito ay 1. So, meron tayong numerical value na 1, 6, at constant na 9. Titingnan ninyo kung ano ang greatest common factor nila or uh, ano yung pwedeng highest number na pwedeng i-divide sa kanilang tatlo.
So, ang possible lang ay 1. So, other than 1, wala na. So, it means that yung common monomial factor ay hindi natin or hindi natin ma-apply sa given na polynomial na to. No? Ngayon, i-verify natin kung ito ay perfect square trinomial. Una, trinomial ba to? Yes, trinomial to. Pangalawa, yung first at last term ba ay parehas na positive perfect square? So, mapapansin mo dito na yung first term ay positive, yung last term ay parehas din, or ay positive din. So, parehas silang perfect square. Una, yung For yung unang term natin, ang exponent niya, x squared, no? Perfect square yan dahil even number yung variable. Yung 9, perfect square dahil yan ang, ang 3 times 3. Ah, pag minultiply natin, ang perfect square niya is 9. So, meron tayo. Next, yung middle term should be equal to 2ab. So, how do we do this? I-verify natin kung yung middle term ay 2ab. Paano ba ito? Kunin mo muna yung square root ng first term. Ano ba yung first term natin? Square root ng x squared. So, ano bang ginagawa natin pag nagsasquare root tayo ng variable? Ang ginagawa lang natin is dinidivide natin yung exponent dun sa index. So, dito nilagay ko yung index ha. Pero usually kapag meron tayong square root, hindi natin nilalagay yung Uh, index na 2. No? So, nilagay ko lang dito para maintindihan ninyo. So, square root ng x squared, that would give us x. Next, kunin naman natin yung square root ng, ng last term. Ano ba yung square root ng 9? That would give us 3. So, yung value ng a natin dito, ang value ng a natin dito is x, yung value ng b natin is 3. Then, multiply lang natin ng 2. So, 2 times a times b. So, multiply lang natin. 2, ano yung a natin? x, ano yung b natin? That is 3. So, 2 times x times 3. That would give us 6x. For step number 3, identify A and B being squared and substitute in the formula. So, meron tayong dalawang formula sa perfect square trinomial. So, ngayon, kanina, nakuha na natin yung square root ng first term at square root ng second term. Yung square root ng first term ay x. Ang square root naman ng last term is 3. So, yan yung A at B natin. Ngayon, check natin yung middle term ulit. Yung sabi kanina, ang middle term should be 2 a, B. So, 2. Ano yung square root ng first term? X. Square root ng second term? That is 3. Multiply lang natin. 2 times X times 3. That would give us 6X. Ngayon, tingnan natin. The same ba yung um, middle term? Doon sa given natin? Yes, magkaparehas. So, kung magkaparehas, anong gagamitin natin? Formula. Ito bang yung nasa una or nasa pangalawa? So, ang gagamitin natin formula ay yung may plus sign. No? Okay. So, ang fa... Kunin natin ano yung a, that is x, yung b natin is 3. Substitute mo lang sa equation. So, x plus 3 or quantity x plus 3 squared. So, dito mapapansin ninyo, no? you have to follow yung sign na middle term. Kung ang sign na middle term natin ay positive, so dito sa factored form natin or yung square ng binomial natin, kailangan positive din siya. No? Tapos, pwede natin expand itong x plus 3 as x plus 3 times x plus 3. So, therefore, ang final answer natin dito ay quantity x plus 3 squared. Yan yung ating factored form. Okay, for, ex for example, number 3, you were given 36 minus 12y plus y squared. Una mo laging i-consider every factoring technique na gagawin natin. Titingnan mo kung may common monomial. Dito, titingnan natin yung mga numerical value. Ang numerical value natin dito ay 36 12 at 1. So, dito, titingnan mo ano yung may GCF ba tayo para sa numerical coefficient to sa number, na, na, yung mga number na given. So, meron ba tayong greatest common factor, 36, 12 at 1? 
So dito, ano yung highest number na pwedeng i-divide sa kanila? Sa 1, sa 12, at 36. So dito, pwedeng ang highest, ang number lang ay 1. So wala tayong GCF other than 1. Ngayon, tingnan naman natin sa variable. Sa variable ba, common lahat ang y? So dito may y squared, dito y. Dito ay wala tayong common na variable. So ibig sabihin, wala tayong uh, uh, GCF para sa numerical coefficient, wala rin tayong GCF para sa uh, variable. Dalawa kasi lagi tinitingnan natin. Kung may GCF para sa numerical value at GCF para sa variable. Tingnan natin kung may common factor para sa number, may common factor para sa variable. Kaso, dito sa given natin, wala. Okay, next. I-check natin. Trinomial ba? Yes. I-check ninyo kung yung first at last term ay parehas na positive perfect square. Ito ba ay positive perfect square? Yes. Ito ay positive perfect square? Yes. Next, tingnan mo ngayon yung middle term. Kailangan ang middle term niya should be equal to 2AB. So, ito yung formula natin. Paano ba natin gagawin to? Una, kunin mo muna yung square root ng first term. Yung square root ng first term natin is 6. Bakit? Third, square root of 36, that would give us 36. Next, kunin mo yung square root ng last term. Yung square root ng last term ay square root ng y squared. That would give us y. Bakit? Paano bang ginagawa natin dito? Di ba kahit walang nakasulat to na index, ibig sabihin yan, 2 ang nakasulat dyan. So, para makuha natin yung square root ng variable, i-divide lang natin yung exponent, which is 2, divided by 2. That would give us y sub 1 or simply y. So, ngayon, nakuha na natin yung square root ng first term, square root ng last term. Ngayon, check naman natin yung middle term kung 2AB. Kailangan i-multiply mo yung first at square root ng first at last term sa 2. Okay, yung middle term, 2AB, 2. Ano yung square root ng first term? 6. Ano yung square root ng last term? That is y. So, 2 times 6 times y, that would give us 12y. Tingnan nyo, 12y ba yung middle term natin? Makikita nyo dito na ang middle term natin ay 12y, which is correct. So, ibig sabihin, we can use perfect square trinomial dito. Okay? So, next, pili ka ng formula. So, mapapansin mo dito na ang middle term mo ay negative. Kung middle term mo ay negative, ibig sabihin, yung factored form mo or yung binomial square mo should be negative also. Ayun, i-write mo lang ano yung uh, uh, value ng A at ilagay mo lang din yung value ng B. So, ito yung given natin. Dahil na-confirm na natin na ito ay PST, isulat mo lang ano yung value ng A natin dito. Ang A natin is 6. So, sulat. Anong sign? Negative. Next, ano yung uh, second term natin? Ang second term natin is y. So, yun na yung ating factored form. Pwede natin i-expand ito ng uh, quantity 6 minus y times quantity 6 minus y. Pero dito, ito pwede na natin maging sagot yan. That would be our final answer for example number 2. Next, for example number 3, you were given 9x squared plus 30xy plus 25y squared. Lagi nyo i-consider kung merong common monomial factor. Kung merong common monomial. So, titingnan natin, pag kukuha tayo ng common monomial, lagi mong titingnan yung numerical value. Tingnan mo, yung 9, yung 30, yung 20, may GCF ka ba sa 9, 30, at 25? So, meron ka bang number na pwedeng i-divide din sa 9? na pwede mong i-divide sa 30, na pwede mong i-divide sa 25. So, dito sa given na to, wala. 1 lang ang pwedeng i-divide sa kanila lahat. Dahil wala sa numerical value, punta naman tayo sa variable. Tingnan natin kung lahat ay meron na common na variable. The same or magkakaparehas. Dito may x squared. Dito may x. Dito sa third term natin, wala. Okay, ngayon, tingnan naman natin kung merong dito may y squared. Dito, may y. Dito, walang y. So, ibig sabihin, wala tayong uh, common na variable sa lahat ng term. So, therefore, wala tayong common monomial factor. Hindi natin magagamit dito yung common monomial factor. Next, i-check naman natin kung ito ay per PST or perfect square trinomial. Una, trinomial, yes. Sumunod, tingnan mo yung first and last term ay, or last terms are, Positive perfect square. Kailangan positive. 
Ito ba ay positive perfect square? Yes, kasi ang 9 ay perfect square. Ang x squared ay perfect square. Bakit? Kasi ang exponent niya even. Doon naman tayo sa last term. Ang last term, yung 25 ba ay perfect square? Yes. Yung y squared ba perfect square? Yes. Bakit? Kasi even number din ang kanyang exponent. So, check to. Next, yung middle term, kailangan equal siya sa 2AB. So, paano natin makukuha yon? So, purahin muna natin para wala tayong masyadong, ano, okay, para ma-emphasize ko at mapakita ko sa inyo dito. Okay, ang tatandaan nyo lang lagi, ang unang step natin dito, kukunin mo muna yung square root ng first term, no? Yung square root ng first term natin dito, kukunin mo muna yung square root ng 9. Anong square root ng 9? That is 3. Next, Ano yung square root ng x squared? Diba? Sabi ko sa inyo, kahit pa, pag wala itong nakasulat na index, mer meron yan. Hindi lang sinusulat. That is 2. So, anong gagawin mo? I-divide mo lang yung 2, yung exponent, doon sa index, which is 2. So, copy mo yung variable x, tapos 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, dito makikita mo, x raised to 1. So, Yung first term natin, ang square root niya ay 3x. Sumunod, yung last term naman natin, kunin muna natin yung square root ng 25. Square root ng 25, that is 5. Next, square root ng y squared, i-divide mo lang, 2 divided by 2, that is 1. So, x raised to 1. No? So, sa second term natin, uh, sa last term natin, 5y yung kanya square root. Ngayon, Gawin natin yung formula na tingnan check natin yung middle term kung yang, yung middle term ba ay nagsasatisfy do sa formula natin 2AB. Kailangan lagi natin, take note, laging multiply ng 2. Okay? Yung 2 times, ano ba yung A natin dito? Ang A natin is 3x times 3x. Ano ba yung B natin dito? Ay, ito ay 5y. I-multiply lang din natin lahat. So, Lahat ng mga numerical value, multiply natin. 2 times 3 times 5. 2 times 3, that is 6. Times 5, that is 30. X times Y, that would give us XY. So, 30 XY. The same ba yung 2AB natin? Do sa middle term na given? Yes, the same. So, ibig sabihin, PS dito. Ang gagawin mo lang, kunin mo yung formula. So, ano ba yung formula ang gagamitin natin dito? Okay, correct. Yung middle term natin, ano yung formula natin? That is, yung middle term ay positive, kaya positive din yung ginamit natin. Dahil ito ay positive, ha? take note, positive, kaya positive din yung uh, square nung binomial natin. Okay, so it, yung given natin 9x squared plus 3xy plus 25y squared, we can write yung factored form nito uh, is... Una, identify natin, ano ulit yung A? Ang A natin is 3X. Andito, kita naman. So, 3X yung first natin. First term, yung square root ng first term. Then, plus sign. Tapos, ano yung B natin? Ang B natin is 5Y. So, yun na yung sagot natin. That would be our final answer. So, take note ha. Uh, pwede natin expand to na... Uh, quantity 3x plus 5y times quantity 3x plus 5y. Pero ito, pwede na, yan yung fa factored form natin. Or pwedeng ito na yung ating final answer. This would be the factored form for number 3. For your activity number 5, I want you to factor the following perfect square trinomial. Insert the middle terms of the following expression to make a perfect square. Dito ang gagawin nyo lang, you have to find yung middle term ng mga uh, given na polynomial para maging perfect square to. Show your solution and uh, box your final answer. And for number 6 to 10, factor the following. Again, show your solution and box your final answer. Good luck!